Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'll be learning how to stop background data usage on Windows 10 or Windows 11 and also increase Wi Fi speed. So, um, this has been an issue for so long and people are really finding it difficult. So, the tutorial says um, you can meter your connection from the Wi Fi settings, which is to some extent it works but in not all cases so um in this tutorial i'll be making use of an application uh the name of the application is called net limiter all right so here's the application it's called net limiter it's a good application it has so many functionalities so you can tweak and it would make your browsing more more fast and easy Alright, um, I'll just be explaining the basic, which is just blocking and limiting unnecessary um, background data usage. So as you can see right here, um, here are services, applications that are running in the background or foreground, um, making use of my data. So right now, your yours might not look like this because um, I've changed mine to blocker yours should look like status or limiter if I'm correct so um let's take for example you're on chrome and you're also downloading okay I must I'm actually downloading right now I'm downloading a movie but take for example you're on chrome and you're downloading and the downloading is taking the whole internet bandwidth so um you might notice your so your browsing might be slow you are trying to load up a website and the website is it's slow it's simply because of the download that is taking the whole bandwidth of your internet um so there are two things you can do about it two ways you can go about it the first is blocking the whole internet on its own for that application or service the other is limiting it to to some certain bandwidth when i say limit i mean giving the service or the application um, a specific bandwidth so when the application or service is making use of your internet connection it won't go above that specific bandwidth so all right um on the blocker tab right here this is to block any application or service so here is um yours might look a little bit different because i've customized mine to just these four tabs these four tabs so um when you click on block you should get something like this all right so um let's say i just even want to block um let's okay let's pick this internet download manager for example all you need to do is just come here click on this deny then also out deny this in means what it's receiving like the download and the out means the upload um i, I don't know if that makes sense but so that's it as you can see it has stopped reading as you can see it has stopped reading here. if i should untick this untick this gray means it is applied but it is not active as you can see it is applied the block rule is applied but it is not active that is what this gray means as you can see it has started making use of my bandwidth um in no time to start making use of the full bandwidth because i recently just unblocked it that is why it's it's a, it's as slow as this i don't know if that makes sense all right so um now let's move over move over to the limiting part here's the block all we need to do is navigate to limiter yes this is limiter so uh what i did was because i love to know the particular application that is making use of my most most bandwidth so i actually sorted by the download rate this is dl rate and this is ul rate download rate and upload rate all right, so I sorted by clicking on this and clicking again. So the application or service using my most bandwidth will be listed from the top to the list. I hope that makes sense. All right, so now all you need to do is just head over here, DL limit and UL limit. All you need to do is just 
tap on it you get this pop-up things you edit whatever kilobytes or bytes or megabytes you are trying to um limit for specific application or um service all right so um for, for this purpose i've i've imputed 50 already because i make use of the application obviously so um i imputed 50 already so i might just take this and 50 kilobytes rule will be applied to internet download manager so whatever the application might be, be it um, whatever it, it might be, Chrome, Skype, uh, whatever, whatever. So um, it doesn't matter if if this is ticked, the rule will apply on it, and it would not use it will not use um, any bandwidth above 50 kilobytes. I hope that makes sense. All right. So it. If this is set to 100, 150 kilobytes, it won't use. You could also set it to MB. All you need to just do is edit and press one. So this is equal to one megabyte per second. When you press OK, it doesn't apply. It doesn't apply because this isn't ticked yet. I hope that makes sense. This isn't ticked until you tick it before it applies to the specific service or application. I hope that makes sense. Alright, so I'm gonna just change mine back to 50 kilobyte because I'm experiencing a little bit of slow internet. Okay, so um, actually this is not applied, but for the purpose of the tutorial, I I did that. Alright, so um, I think that will be all for now. You could tweak these settings to know to suit your taste. Um, I just basically use it to block and to limit application basically. Um, I could also do it to my own advantage and tweak to know more and more about some applications. You could also use the, the this net limiter to to know more about applications, na navigate to um, their folder, their installed folder on your drive, etc. etc. Et so there are so many things you can do. You can get to know the traffic start of the particular service or application, how much bandwidth it, it has used um there are so many so many so many options i can't go over all right so that would be it for this tutorial guys that would be it for this tutorial um by the way i'll leave a link to the download of this tutorial in the description below so feel free to check that out if you are trying to limit your internet um if you are trying to block background data usage from your computer because uh there could be some applications, some services running in the background that you wouldn't just want to allow to run. Um, take for example, Windows updates. We all know Windows updates run in the background, so it will definitely show up here. All you need to do is just block. Um, for example, let me navigate to my block and let me filter by, as you can see, I've blocked so many, I've blocked Windows Office like that like that windows updates as you can see i blocked windows updates from updating so there's so many things that, that you could do but that would be all for this tutorial guys I, I wouldn't want to make this tutorial a lengthy one so that would be all for this tutorial if you are finding any difficulties downloading or installing or anything please feel free drop a comment in the comment section i'll be so glad and happy to assist you guys um i'll drop the link in the description also so you can download it and by the way i'm using a pro so um detailed explanation of, of installation and how to use it will be in the description below so just follow the link and just download it if you guys like content like this please kindly consider hitting the subscribe button also like the video and share so as other people can get to know this application that will be all for this tutorial i'll see you guys in my next video peace out